Welcome back to College Algebra. In this, um, in this video, let's take a look at how to log into Hox Learning for the new users. So if you never use Hox Learning, uh, in the previous video, I show you the website, learn.hoxlearning.com. All right, that will take you straight to the portal login. Um, so for a brand new user, never used Hox Learning before, okay, the first thing you gotta do is create an account. Sorry, my connection was interrupted. So let me go back. Learn.hoxlearning.com. All right, so when you click on new user, either you already bought the access code from the bookstore or you can purchase one online. All right, so I'm gonna, so if I choose already bought the access code and click on continue, the first thing you do is enter the code. So I can't really go any further, but, but I'm gonna find a different way to show you the next page real quick. All right, if you want to purchase online through the company's website, one thing I need to show you, all right, enter our school name, Northeastern. Technical College. All right, continue. All right, be very careful. Uh, we have other courses using Hox Learning as well. So be very careful. Excuse me. All right, so be very careful about what you um what product you select. So when you select your um, product, our our textbook is called pre calculus. So that's eighty three dollars, okay, before tax. So make sure you don't pick the wrong class, okay? <coughs> All right, let me go back. Now, if you don't have the money right now to purchase, okay, an access code, or if your financial aid has not finalized, you can always click on request for temporary access. Okay, I think it's about 20 days access. So enter your name, okay, first name, last name, in a school. Northeastern Technical College. All right, email address. For email address is basically is going to be your username. So um, I would recommend you to use the email that you actually check. Okay, so sometimes when students message me through the Hawks Learning System, uh, when I message you back, you go straight to that email address that you that you set as a username. So right now, um, so enter your email address, confirm your email address. All right, so the next step that I cannot go to, uh, because if I type in my name, you will recognize that I already have an account. So when you go to the next step, you will actually set your own password, answer some security questions, okay? And basically, you will actually um, need to enroll into the class, okay? So when you enroll into our class, okay, make sure you pick my name, our school, and choose the appropriate class. So, so I'm making this video for two different um, classes. So you need to know whether you are in uh, Math One Ten Dash Five Thirteen or Dash Five Fifteen. Okay. So let me log in real quick, so I can show you what it looks like once you log in. Because there's another page I want to show you. Internet must be. My internet must not be working very good today. All right. Once you log into Hawks Learning, the very first page that you see is called a dashboard. So, um, if this is your very very first time using Cox Learning, then the only textbook you're going to see is going to be our pre-calculus textbook, all right? So I am currently in the 
dash 513 um, section. Okay, so on the dashboard, you have access to your grades, to the ebooks. Okay, your electronic textbook is actually on here. I'm teaching more classes, so I have more textbook on here. So from the, from the dashboard, you can simply click on View Course. And I already assigned the first three sections that I show you in the course outline. Okay, so basically, um, your pop quiz will actually come from um, come from the questions that you that you the homework problem that you do in Hawks Learn. So here are all the to do lists. Okay, there's nothing on the final exam knowledge check and quizzes because those are to be completed in D2L. So here are just simply a place where I key in your grades. So right now I only um, assign three sessions. I apologize, I keep on being interrupted. All right, here, um, I only actually um, assigned three sessions so far. So, but any section that is being assigned has three components. Okay, it consists of the learn, practice, and the certify. Using my internet. Let's see, it's still trying to connect. Okay, so learn, practice, and certify. All right, you can't certify before the course start dates. So on um, in learn is simply um, PowerPoint presentations that are provided by Hawks Learning System. Okay, so most of the students who watch the lecture video they really don't use the uh, they really don't use the the learn as much because this is basically what your textbook looks like. All right, so let me end it real quick. All right, practice, practice serve as a practice, okay? It does um, allow students to skip the problems around, try similar ones, or it has a tutorials, okay? Showing you how to do this particular problem. So if there are um, if there are problems on the homework that I did not quite explain in the lecture video, you can you are more than welcome to come to the tutorials. Okay, um, either they can take you back to learn or give you hints. All right, or display the entire solution. Okay, now certify under the certify mode, which we can try to turn it on. See, so we can open it up. Exit without saving. On the certify, there's going to be no tutorials. Okay, you cannot skip the problems around. You have to do the problem as it as it first appears. Okay, so once this green bar reach eighty percent mark, you automatically certify. So before, okay, before it reaches. Um, before it reach, reaches the green mark, and if you get strike out because you got too many wrong answers, then the system will actually kick you back out, and you will have to restart your whole entire. You'll have to restart your whole entire, um, certify again. Okay. So just be careful. Okay, be careful. Don't don't take a lot of strikes. So, if I put a wrong, wrong, uh, you know what? I'm gonna put it on one this time. <coughs> so, my answer is incorrect. Try a similar problem or accept a strike. Okay, so if I accept a strike, eventually I can actually get struck out where you will kick me out and then I have to start the whole thing over. Okay. This is actually a very good example. If if my video is still recording, you can see I'm keep on losing connection. So, just um, be very aware that when you are taking the pop quiz and if if, if your internet access is keep on being interrupted, okay, it's it's not it's just gonna be very very inconvenient for you, okay, because the pop quiz will be timed. So it's just very very inconvenient. All right, so let me get out. So homework and the pop quiz will be in Hawks Learning. 
So it shows I have internet, but I'm actually coming in and out right now. Except I'll say All right, so let me come back out to the to this page. So that was lessons. So we're gonna have a lot of homework lessons, okay, throughout the course. Under the web test, this is where you will find your um, pop quiz. You do not have to do the practice web test, okay? It's not really that accurate. <clears throat> um, this is actually generated by Hawks Learning System. So if you watch a video taking notes, I think the pop quiz would not be that difficult to do, all right? So, I will make the announcements for uh, pop quiz every Wednesday. So there no pop quiz on on week one. All right. On the others is simply where I will actually um, entering your exam grades, your knowledge check average, and your quiz average into the Hawks Learning System. Okay. So if you uh, have questions or concern about how to use Hawks Learning System, please don't hesitate to email me or call me during my office hours. All right, that will conclude this video. Thank you for watching.